Hey, I don't know what you got going on later, but I was thinking of hitting a happy hour over at Chili's. I don't date people at my workplace. You're smart. It's a smart idea. You got beauty and brains. I couldn't imagine living for anything other than women. The addictive seconds just after uncertainty and immediately preceding touching the gold. What the hell's going on? Dad! It it's with this in mind that I relate the events leading to the involuntary removal of my testicles. I do remember thinking, why would a dude bring a trumpet into a movie theater? I'm sorry to be the one to have to tell you, but we couldn't save them. Save who? We had to remove both. What are you saying? You're saying I lost my watch? Our group provide support to help us understand what is happening to us. My penis is 16 inches long. It's thin like a rope, and uh, my testicles are the size of peanuts. <laughs> Dear Mr. Monday, I have been retained to represent the interests of Miss Ginger Farley. Miss Farley believes that you are the father of her unborn child conceived on or about February 11th. But are you totally, 100%, absolutely, positivo, sure that the baby's... Tell us about yourself, Mary. This is the first time Ginger has ever brought a man home to meet us. It's Our Jennifer brings fellas home all the time. Yes, Barry, I'm positivo. The baby is yours. Are there any foods that Ginger shouldn't eat? I read somewhere that uh, pregnant women shouldn't eat blue cheese. I never heard the one about blue cheese. 